Hi, my name is Damon Marotti, and I'm with Sound Off Signal. Today, we're talking about the Empower Traffic Controller. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're back. We're going to be talking about the Empower Traffic Controller today. This is one of those uh, light bar projects of sound offs that's been a long time coming. I know that there's been a lot of talk about this for a long time, but it's here. We have the Empower Traffic Controller. It uses six inch Empower modules out of the light bar. So that's those high powered wide angle modules that are coming right out of that light bar. And you can get it in several different sizes, ranging from like four modules all the way up to 10 modules wide. So what makes this one different? And let's compare this to some of the other traffic controllers, namely our own Enforce traffic controller. What makes this one different? Well, one of the primary things that this traffic controller does that our previous generation did not do is it supports traffic control in all facings. So that means you can have this light bar facing to the left, front, right, or rear, and you get separate controls for each one of those directions. So if you've got one on the right side of the vehicle, you can turn on the right rearward arrow and it'll start directing traffic to the rear of the vehicle. So this is excellent for things like blockers and anything like that where you're gonna be diverting traffic. You need a vehicle to come up behind another one, not straight on. Maybe we wanna give it a little angle or a little angle this way. It, it, it's huge. We can create all kinds of different scenarios with that. And again, separate controls. So you could have an arrow in all four directions of the vehicle and specifically turn on the one on the left side and tell it to start diverting to the front. So between that and the fact that this light bar is an interior or exterior, it doesn't matter. You get one light bar that works for both. And between those two things, this is probably one of the more versatile light bars on the market today. And it's gonna also work for utility, law enforcement, fire and EMS. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways that we can use this particular light bar. Now, in addition to these new arrow functions, you're also going to get warning function control for each side of the vehicle. So we already had front and rear, right? We've always had that. And that's been a fight for a lot of you out there. I know it has. You take, try to get, figure out how do I get that enforced traffic controller to sit on my push bumper and respond to front commands. Well, this takes care of that for you, but we've never had left and right controls. These are specific controls for inboard one through five on each side of the vehicle and we can turn them on separately. That's pretty cool. So what's that mean for you? Well, it depends. If you're a utility worker, you can get amber, you can get white. If you need red or blue, you can order that too. We even have green. Let's go into law enforcement. For law enforcement, one in the rear window, we've always had that, but now you can stick a separate one up in the, uh, the front push bumper or something like that. How about fire apparatus? Well, with the ability to go 10 modules wide, you can put this on the side of an apparatus and you now have a 60 inch wide high powered light bar with all kinds of sound off signal functionality built right into it. So let's think about that for a second. Red warning, amber for traffic diversion. And again, put that on the side of a blocker and you get that. And white for scene, 60 inch wide, wide scene light bar. And here's the thing, a 60 inch light bar is not always going to work for you. Maybe it's too wide. Maybe the pump panels in the way. Well, if that's not going to work, we make this other version that's a split eight. And now you can put like, you know, four of them to one side and four of them to the other side of the side or one, four to the rear, four to the front. And they can kind of clear the pump panel and things like that. So there's always going to be that solution as well. And again, this is one product that's going to do all of this. So let's talk about the wiring for a second. Out of each one of these bars is a six inch pigtail that goes into a plug. And the plug connects to an accessory harness that you can order in whatever length you need. So if you need a three footer, you can order a three footer, you can order a 15 footer, or you can order a 25 foot harness. And in that harness is three wires, power and ground, those hook up like normal. And that third wire is a data wire and it's gonna hook up to your, your breakout box. And this particular light bar is going to use our newest universal breakout box. Not only 
doesn't support the universal breakout box, but the breakout box itself supports two of these light bars. So that means you can have one front, one rear, or one left and one right. But the thing is, is I don't have to make the front one match the rear. So I could have a four mod in the front, maybe a six mod on the rear or vice versa. Or maybe in that apparatus case, I could have that 10 mod on the curb side and I can have the split or the split eight on the street side. We can do that as well. It'll support that. It's pretty cool like that. All right, let's talk tech specs. We've got five variants. We have a four module, a six module, an eight module in two different versions, a single piece and a split. And then we also have a 10 module. The four module, it's about 24 -ish inches wide. We jump over to the six module. We're probably closer to 37, 38 inches wide at that point. Getting into the eight module, we're at 52 inches wide. And then if we go into the split eight module, that's just two four module units. All right. And then we go into that last one, the 10 module. And that particular unit is 64 inches wide, 64 inches wide, like five and a half feet of light bar. Can't go wrong with that. I mean, that's going to light up a whole neighborhood at two and a half inches thick. The Empire traffic controller is just slightly shallower than the, uh, the Enforce traffic controller. And it's made out of a durable aluminum, like clamshell, like housing. The modules inside of it are 100% uh, serviceable. The whole unit is designed to work at nine to 32 volts. So it's got a wide range of vehicles that it's going to work on and fit. And when we start talking about mounting, it's going to use the same mounting plates that you would see in an Enforce traffic controller. It's got that same T channel for the, the T bolts, but that means you can mount it to a bracket. You can mount it straight to a flat piece of metal. If you wanted to just surface mount it, you could do that. Now, if you want to see one of these in action, the phone number at the bottom of the screen, that's our customer service phone number. Give them a call. Or if you have your local rep and know who it is, give them a call. One or the other. We're going to get you one of these in front of you so you can see it, check it out, get some information about it, whatever it may be. All right. The number again, it's at the bottom of the screen. That's Sound Off Signals customer support team. All right. That's all I've got for today. Until next time.